Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, International Carl, doing another video. Man, I gotta tell you before I start, thank you so much for all those that have liked and subscribed to my channel. And if this is your first time here, please take the time and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Now, before I get started, let's go. I've been doing a series on life in the UK, words that you're gonna hear when you're living in the UK, especially for an American like me, who's come all the way over here, over the pond. I'm liking this American boy, American boy. So you gotta get used to speaking English, as they say. So the first word that I'm gonna introduce you to, which probably should have been the first word, is cheers. So good. <laughs> cheers is a word that they use all the time for everything. It's a really informal and also kind of a formal way to say, hey, thank you. So cheers for that. So if somebody does something nice for you or has helped you out in a way, maybe brought something to you that you needed, you'd say cheers. I believe you were trying to say is thank you. Thank you? You're welcome. What? No, you no, know, no. that's a word that I use. I actually use that word now that I've been here, but I do say cheers a lot. Not like the show, but I do say it. Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. The second word I'm going to give you is a word that is I've used before. So click here to watch a video on five words that you need to know when you're gonna live here in the UK. But this word is a bit different. So if we recap, you can be, you can take the piss, you can be on the piss, but did you know you could have a piece of piss? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? So something can be a piece of piss. I'm not sure how they chop up your pee and serve it to you, but something can be a piece of piss. Now, what does that really mean? What do you mean by that? What do you mean? Well, it really means something is easy to do. So, say for example, somebody asks you to change a light bulb. Well, that's a piece of piss. Doesn't mean you have to eat it, but it's a piece of piss. And that's a word you're gonna have to get used to knowing here in England, especially in the UK. I think it's used everywhere in the UK. Something is a piece of piss. Yeah, it'll be like taking candy from a baby. <laughs> Would you believe that? Third word. The third word is kind of like my first video that I did. Click here to watch that video about for fuck's sake. Now, this word is used like this. So say, for example, your car got broken into. You'd come out and you would say, you gotta be shitting me. You gotta be shitting me. That's what they would say. You gotta be shitting me. Some people might say, for fuck's sake, but that's another term that they'll use. You gotta be shitting me. Hmm. So where's the shit? Ah, oh, the shit. You'll get the shit. You'll be knee deep in the shit. And it's another way to say, like, you really what to just mean. You got to be kidding. You got to be joking. It could be somebody pulled a prank on you and it's really serious. And you might say it that way, right? So there's a way to say it. That's the third word. Now, the fourth word. The fourth word could have also been the first word. And everybody's heard this word. Bloke. Hey, look at that bloke over there. Bloke. That's a bloke. I'm a bloke. However, sometimes in the context of how you use it, you also could be like, you know, really being offensive to that person. You could be calling them an idiot, but I don't think it's used that way. I personally believe when people call someone a bloke, what they're really saying is that guy over there, you know, some random bloke has showed up to my house today, or that random bloke just stole my car, or that bloke just done X, Y, and Z. That's a word that they use interchangeably here. You'll hear 
everywhere. I don't care if you go to the north, I don't care if you go to the south, east, west, it don't matter where you go here in the UK, blokes are blokes, and that's what they call them. Future me here, just wanna remind everybody, thank you so much again for all that you've done to subscribe to the channel, to press the like button, leave a comment, you know, it really means a lot to me, and it's free 99, so thank you. You know, it's not as bad as calling somebody a chaff. As a matter of fact, it's funny. I did see a chaff today, and I meant to take a picture because I was going to put it here in the uh, in this video, but let's recap what a chav is real quick. A chav is a guy typically you'll see in a track suit. 100% got to be a track suit, but he might have like the Adidas pants on with a sweater on. Ah, that reminds me, they don't call sweater sweaters, they call them jumpers, but I'll get to that in another video. But didn't do that one, but bloke, let's not forget bloke. Number five. Now when I got here, I was hearing this all the time. Cause I mean, just look at me, of course. <laughs> well, in my younger days, how about that? But here in the UK, and especially in England, what they will say is this kind of phrase, but the word I want to say is fit. Someone is fit. F-I-T. And what do they mean when someone's fit? That's what they'll say. You'll hear this. They'll say it this way. That girl over there, she's fit. That bird over there, she's fit. Come on, guys. It's not rocket scientists. Let's give you some examples of some fit birds. Maybe I can put them right here if I got the space. Yeah, a fit bird right there, that's one. There's another example of a fit bird. No, not that, that's big bird, silly. A fit bird, yes, that's more like it. And that is the top five words that I believe everybody who's gonna come live in England, especially in the UK, needs to know if you're going to survive living in English. Living in English. Yeah, I, yeah, I said it. You said that. You said that. I didn't. I didn't you it. said that. What? <laughs> living in English. Did you just say that? If you're going to survive living in England, you're going to hear those terms and you need to understand what they mean when they say them. So without further ado, I want to say thank you for watching. Click here to watch another video of mine. And please, like always, make sure you subscribe to the channel.